Hello, it's another month, another Monday, and another chance to learn from our mistakes. Well, it's November, and we're already through one quarter of the 2021-2022 school year, so this is another chance to examine a teaching mistake in the health classroom. The course I teach in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade is nine weeks, so I have the luxury of looking back on an entire course already this far into the school year, and I have to say I'm noticing that students are taking a little bit more time with classwork. Here's what I mean. It seems that the COVID pandemic has interrupted um, the speed of work. For one reason or another, when we do some written work or journaling or even class discussions out loud as a large group, it feels like things are just taking a little bit extra time, sometimes double or even triple the amount of time that I'm used to. Now, I don't have data on that. There's no research. That's just my personal experience so far this school year. It seems that reading and writing in particular are just taking a little longer. Question prompts that used to take us 10 or 15 minutes are now taking 20 minutes, 25, maybe even a half hour. And as a teacher, it has me worrying about pacing, pacing of a lesson, but also within a unit or the entire nine week course. And for all of you teachers out there, anytime we worry about uh, timeliness, then that's where we might rush things. And that's not a good feeling. Rushing to the next item, rushing into the next topic, uh, rushing through a unit, it just doesn't feel right. Once I'm mindful of that, once I recognize what's going on, I can pause, reflect a bit, and then respond accordingly. What I mean by that is taking my own advice from the past, realizing that education takes time, that it's gonna need, uh, it's gonna need some patience and, and some grace, some leniency. So that's a reoccurring theme for sure in the last year or two years of looking at some teaching mistakes, but I do wanna put that into practice. And that leads us to our mindful teaching tip of this month. Good things take time. Practicing a life skill, exhibiting knowledge on some content within class, getting that feedback from the teacher and then going through the process again before assessment. It, it all takes time. Good things take time. Again, we've hit on some of these points with our mindful mistake videos in the past. Being flexible within the classroom, being patient with yourself, meeting students where they are, all of that in practice. I think that in 2021 and 2022, just that acknowledgement is a huge step towards being the best teachers that we can be for the students in our classrooms. Oftentimes as educators, we're putting in that hard work at the start of our course, at the start of the school year, especially, and we're not seeing those rewards for months down the line. Sometimes hard work makes everything else look easy. And as an educator, that payoff, when everybody seems to be right on that same page and things are clicking, you know that that's not just in that moment. That has taken weeks and months of preparation and hard work leading up to that point. So try it out in your own teaching. It doesn't even need to be expressed outwardly to students. Just tuck it in the back of your brain. Anytime you find yourself rushing through things, realize teaching and learning, they take time. And that's what we're here to do. Spend time together, bettering everybody involved. What I'll do is make sure I include a resource right here in the YouTube description about this very topic. Make sure to check that out right after watching. All right, that's it for this month. I hope everyone out there is healthy and happy. And if you're not, I hope you're on your way. I'll see you back here in December for another teaching mistake and a mindful approach on how to respond. Until then, thanks for tuning in.